Hello, Leos, my love. I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in This Bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who's liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com for any other magical purposes and deviational workings and things of that nature. So spirit, you are welcome into this reading. Here we go. You must sage the cards for the Leo Lion gods, baby. Let's see what's going down. We're going to get straight into it. We're going to see what's going on in your love situation. And then we're going to take a look at what's going on in your money. Okay. Your finances and your career. So to my Leo, so far I did get a pre-shuffle. I feel like between you and your partner, some of you all are ready to break free from the situation, but you're also very codependent. So some of you guys are waiting for the romantic offers, waiting for the love. Okay. Or this could go vice versa. So keep that in mind. But. I do feel, Leos, a lot of you guys are thinking about situations that are going to work. If it doesn't, you're thinking of an escape plan here. So, and if you haven't already escaped, some of you guys have freed yourself. Let's see what's going on between you and your partner. Let's take a look at what your partner has going. Definitely could be dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. I feel like somebody had very small offers or page offers to offer you. I feel like someone has either let go of a third party situation or someone is analyzing that they're in a third party situation and they're ready to let it go okay temperance energy here once again leos some of y'all can be dealing with a sagittarian all right but i feel uh if someone ain't got the money together or ain't got their money right it could be knocking them off of their foundations okay but I feel between you and your partner, there's definitely a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You could be dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Definitely prominent here. I feel like someone is all about their business, all about their coin and making their money. Okay. Now, some of you all, this person could have some issues with investments and things of that nature. Like I said, someone is definitely... Um, there. To me, it looks like they're not concerned about love. They're concerned more about their coin. So it's... Two of Cups, this could have been a relationship of some sort, or there was a soulmate connection at some point in time. Businessman, businesswoman, all right? But I feel uh, someone could have tried to come in with a renewal or is going to try to come in with an equal balance. There definitely could be some sort of communication. You could be dealing with a Libra here, but there's also a lot of air so far and a lot of earth. So... Uh, this could be in their sun, moon, or rising, but I feel like your partner, they feel like things are definitely justified. Someone could have tried to come in and be like, uh, you know, hey, can we try this again? Whatever, whatever. And to me, it looks like, Leo, somebody has cut communication off or someone is trying not to think of that negative energy that this person brings, okay? But I'm seeing with this page of wands, some of you all are dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Like I said, someone is trying to let go of... Uh, you know, a lot of anxiety, feeling overwhelmed, okay? But with this two of pentacles, also with the high priestess, there could have been someone who found out or discovered that there was someone who was juggling multiple things or you could have found that out about your person, okay? But definitely entertaining a lot of different energies here or someone concentrating and putting their energy into someone else, possible Cancerian, okay? Also Pisces as well. So I do feel like someone is afraid of, um, you know, making love opportunities here. So be aware. I feel like somebody is wanting to communicate, but they've definitely had a hard time with being able to send those messages out. Okay. Making movement. Someone could be having car trouble here as well with this chariot energy or transportation issues. Okay. Um, but I'm seeing that someone wants to make movement towards you. Nine of cups. Eight of Wands. Definitely Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. I feel like they want to come your direction. All right. Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck as well. Let's see what's going on uh, and what you need to know about for the week. All right. Five of Swords, Empress Energy here. I feel somebody is definitely not impressed. They're having a lot of regrets 
towards someone in the past, they feel like they can't really move anywhere with this person or that they've definitely had to let them go. Okay, moon energy here for sure. So you could be dealing with the Pisces as well, or this could be in your sun, moon, or rising. All right, but I feel what you need to know is someone is really thinking about a commitment here. Hierophant energy, also seven of pentacles. So someone is really contemplating their um, relationship, okay? Someone is definitely keeping things mysterious as well or trying to keep things hidden because they are thinking about it. So definitely be aware of that. Ten of Cups, I feel someone is having some struggles within their family or their relationship that brings on a lot of pettiness, disagreements, arguments, okay? I'm also seeing with the Queen of Swords, somebody might be getting cussed out, all right? Ten of Wands, could be someone in your work environment, but we're going to see what's coming up new. I feel like somebody's stuck in a burden ship here. Someone is definitely uh, hot and ready to let go of a third party situation of this buildup could be with this Empress energy that is somebody who was willing okay to do what they needed to do this could also be uh you know somebody's ex outside of that or someone that was definitely um wanting to have some passionate energy here somebody is trying to make that shit work okay lover's energy could be dealing with the gemini as well okay so you got the queen of wands three of pentacles also lovers i feel somebody is definitely trying to let go of a third party situation but they're still trying to uphold two different people or two different energies here. All right. Okay. So let's see possible new energy for my Leos. You guys are definitely resting, letting situations die down. Okay. Planning options could be dealing with another Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but I'm seeing you guys are going back and forth. Leo, definitely Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. Uh, I'm seeing for some of you guys, there is somebody who's very jealous of their success. It could be some money issues or home foundational issues that's coming up that some of you all are getting ready to take a look at. You could just be stuck in between making two choices here. Okay, but I feel there's a lot of jealousy going on in the week, Leo. So be aware of that. Now, uh, I do feel some of you guys know when it's time to let these codependent things go. And some of you guys are just discovering, you know, what codependency really is. So let's see what's going on in your finances, darling. We're going to get the magical messages from the fairies. Here we go. Let's see what's going on with my lovely, lovely Leos for the week. Okay, it says you've got the power. Use your abilities to resolve the situation. You can do it, Leo. So some of you all are trying to figure out solutions. I'm also seeing here there could be a business venture that's coming along the way. All right. So finding solutions, a new business venture, perfect timing as well, Leo, for some of you guys. And also, I feel like there is something that is ready to move forward or some of you all are ready to move forward or you're going to have to definitely come into a realization of what you're going to let go of. OK, with this let go, Elsa. All right. Here we go. Leo, let's see what's popping, baby. Some of you all could be taking a trip or planning on taking a trip. Let's see what's up. Knight of Wands. Once again, magician energy here. So in this coming in reverse, I feel like some of you Leos are ready to take action, but you feel like you just can't manifest or you feel like you're just losing out of your power or you're needing to understand your power. I feel like it's a lot of people, a lot of things that could be slowing down your progression. Okay. It could be coming out of a lot of situations that cause a lot of drama in order for you to have stability at some point in time is what I'm seeing here. Also with this devil energy it could be dealing with the Capricorn, but I feel somebody's being a slave to the work, a slave to, you know, certain things in their environment that you're not even that you're not even really trying to think about. Now, this could be someone who's going to school as well or someone who is um, a student, okay? But somebody is definitely slaving over a lot of possibilities, you know, just doing too much, putting in too much work and not getting the better outcomes, the better results. You got the devil energy, also the three of swords. So some of you guys, you know, might be receiving information or there could be a lot of 
uh, negative energy that's all up in your environment that causes a lot of toxicity, obsessions, things of that nature. But I feel uh, with the Six of Wands, also with the Ace of Wands, there's going to be some sort of success coming in for you guys. Okay, but be aware of all of those people that are blocking you from your motherfucking blessings, okay? You also have the full energy here, so there could be a new leap of faith or someone is just going along, minding their business, okay? And I feel like a lot of you guys are just trying to have some work progression, but you understand what new journeys need progression and need work, okay? Some of you all are putting in way too much time. There's definitely uh, something here I feel you guys feel left out. Could be within your coworkers, could be in your environment, or you feel just, you know, alone. But I'm seeing that you're definitely going to have some money abundance coming your way very soon, Leo. So get your ass motherfucking ready. Let's see what the rebel messages have to say to my Leos. Here we go. All right. We got fuck shit is about to get real. It says fuck. You need your people around you. So Leo, some of you all might need a little backup plan. Okay. Some of you all need to get some people that can help you. You might be feeling like you're not. Uh, ready. Okay. Some of y'all might have some people you got on speed dial that you need to be getting ready and preparing yourself for. Now, some of you Leos also need to stop obsessing. It says you are not the fucking center of the universe. Stop obsessing or someone could be obsessing over you, baby. So however, the, however the case may be, it says, where the fuck is your sense of humor or laugh? Okay. Some of y'all been too serious. Some of y'all just been too poker face up in this motherfucker. Okay. So definitely laugh about something. Try not to obsess too much. Step away from the crazy shit, okay? Believe what you see as well. If someone's telling you something you feel uh, you have to second guess, believe that shit, okay? So choose, choose wisely who you give your time to. I love you guys. I'm going to get on out of here. If you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you all hit that description box down below. Check out my website, morelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. It also says don't fucking force it, okay? And it says allow that shit to come to you. So whoever this is, and I feel like some of you all, someone has broken your heart, and they are big-ass mama's boys. So be aware of that, okay? Or they could be a, a daddy's girl, whatever the case may be, my loves. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you guys in the next motherfucking video. Peace.